Hi there, my name's Andy Sykes, otherwise known as Hexjibber. I'm a award-winning animator and I also teach flash animation in universities and colleges here in the UK. This is my website, hexjibber.com, and uh, here's the lesson. Hi, and welcome to my lesson on how to use spring effects with your bone animations in Flash CS5. You can see here I've got one armature of a tree it's got two bones in it, and I've got one pose that lasts for 135 frames. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a second pose at frame 35, like so. I'm going to insert a pose. And then I'm going to go back to my first pose, and I'm going to move it. So I'm going to stick it there. So if we play that through, we've got a very sort of smooth animation from pose 1 to pose 2 of the tree moving up into the upright position. But it looks a little bit clinical for me. It's a sort of very linear movement. I want to add some life to this little animation we've got here. So this is where adding spring and dampening comes in. If I click on uh, my tree here and click on my second bone, or it could be any bone really, but it's going to have the most effect on the second one. I can go over here to my properties and you can see I've got options for spring strength and dampening. Now strength is how many times your object is going to bounce once it hits that second pose and the dampening is how quickly that bounce will fade away or decay. So let's stick the strength at 50. So let's see how that looks. If I press enter, you can see that our armature is now bouncing around quite happily as if it was made of a light material. And now you can see why it's really important that after our second pose here, I left plenty of time for our armature to bounce about. If I just stopped it after our second pose, we wouldn't actually see any of the spring that we put into our animation because there wouldn't be time for it to play out. So that's really important. But you can see that our armature just springs on forever. What if we wanted to make that spring fade away after some time? What we'd have to do is go back to our first pose and click on our second bone there. You can see over here we've got strength of 50 and we've got zero dampening. So I'm going to stick some dampening in, perhaps 50, and let's play that through. So you can see that our bounce is gradually fading away over time. So it's bouncing a lot, and that bounce is just fading away. So if we wanted to exaggerate that effect, we could stick our dampening up to 100, then play that through. So you can see it's kind of coming to a standstill. And equally you could boost the strength. So if we go back to our first pose and shove our strength all the way up to the top and play that through, you can see that it's going to bounce a lot and then really quickly stop. So there you go. That's how to use strength and dampening with your bone animations. In the next lesson I'm going to show you how to use bones with symbols. I'll see you there. Hey, if you've enjoyed this lesson, why not consider checking out my website, hexjibber.com, where you can also buy my book, The Hexjibber Colouring and Activity Book. You can buy it in the UK, US, Germany, France, Japan, from Amazon and other good stores.